Hey everyone, so today we're driving down to South Florida, Palm Beach Gardens, uh, Fox 45 Airport to Chapter 203 to check out a chapter build of a Sonic Xenos that they uh, started to build. So heading down there now. So today we're here in Palm Beach Gardens at Chapter 203 for their chapter meeting. I uh, came to take a look at their Xenos, Xenos uh, Sonics uh, project that they're doing and I'll talk to uh, Rick in just a few minutes and give you details on, on what's going on there. This is their, this is their uh, work area um, and meeting area here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. As you can see, it's a nice size hangar shop that they have here to work on all kinds of stuff. They've got many projects going on. and. Uh, also members uh, aircraft out there so they just had their pancake breakfast and they had a little little talk uh, guest speaker today is Mark at Aero Momentum I'm here with Rick today at Chapter 203 in uh, Palm Beach Gardens, where they're building a Sonics a Xenos, and uh, Rick's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, the project here. Rick, can you tell us uh, first how you acquired this this aircraft and uh, what the plan is for it. Okay, our chapter had acquired a, a complete Xenos kit, sort of complete. It was missing parts. We were given the parts list. We ordered the extra parts. We actually started the build with our, our uh, uh, Eagle Squadron, a, a group of teens. And as we started to build the tail kit, which is where a lot of people began, we discovered that, oh, there's still a lot of parts missing. So right after that meeting, at lunchtime, got on the internet, started looking for somebody that had a tail kit that decided not to build or whatever. And in the process of looking for that, we discovered a Xenos that had been very well built, which you see behind us. Uh, however, it had about 75 hours on it, and uh, because it does not have differential braking in that particular build, uh, in a major crosswind on a runway with only one choice, ended up uh, running off the side of the runway and tipping straight over, crashing the canopy, windscreen, and the tail surface. Well, that didn't help us out because it didn't have a tail, and that's what we're looking for. But as I discussed with the owner, he had already purchased a brand new tail kit. So that actually came with it. So 
So have you guys already rebuilt the uh, the tail section back here? We or are. Or is that not damaged? Uh, there's very little damage here. There's a couple little pieces of bent aluminum which will straighten out. This is the rudder hinge point that's got a little kink in it. So it's, uh, that we will, if anything, put a doubler there. Uh, but we not, may not have to do anything. We salvaged some parts from this old tail to put into our original kit, so we'll still have those parts available. Okay. And uh, the young men up front are working on, just starting to work on the tail kit right now. They're starting right with the, the hinges, cutting those, finishing those. This is rudder hinges then? Drilling those rudder vader hinges. Rudder vaders. Okay, okay. those are piano hinges. Oh, that's right, because Xenos is a V-tail, right? Xenos is a V-tail like the uh, Y-ax, only the fuselage is longer, a little bit more surface on the tail so to counteract, to actually work with the much longer wingspan. Okay. Did you guys start out at, uh, at, as young eagles in this? or Yeah. yeah? Yep. yep. When I was little, I took my first few light, uh, flights when I was like 10. Nice. Yep. Now you're involved in the, the chapter build here. Yep, learning build aircraft. And uh, Cameron's fairly new with us, uh, came down from South Carolina. He's uh, now taking flight instruction, has three hours logged, another, another lesson uh, scheduled for Monday. Uh, Grant started with us some time ago. We built uh, a photo frame out of aircraft aluminum, the same construction methods. So he got those kinds of skills under his belt already. And so they're here today, although this is not our regular full build day. They're here today to you know, kind of progress the kit and build another part. So we started with the one big part, like the giant fish, and now we're, we're catching a second fish. <laughs> and uh, if we get enough, a whole mess of fish caught, we'll have a fish fry. Nice, okay. And what, uh, what engine is planned for this, for this build? This, this airplane was built by a gentleman in California who lived at a fairly high elevation of 5,000 feet. And he did not want to do an 80 horsepower aero V. He wanted something bigger and better for the events, for the altitude. And um, at that time, the Jabiru 3300 was supported by Sonex. And so he purchased the 3300 as the motor mount for the 3300. The weight and balance is for the 3300 Jabiru. And so we acquired recently uh, a Jabiru 3300 that had just been topped and checked and so forth, and we're going to install that into this airplane so it'll be all matched up. Okay, good. What do you uh, what do you think the timeline? What do you think the timeline is on rebuilding this and actually taxi testing or uh, getting it to fly? It doesn't matter because it's the experience of building it. However, it does matter. We just progressed about 10 years by going from the basic raw kit to something that just needs repaired. Sure. So sure. we're thinking roughly about a year maybe we should have everything ironed out, uh, the new engine mounted. We'll have to still acquire a propeller so if someone has a propeller in their uh, corner of their hangar that'll work on a 3300, we're ready for that. Uh, the interior's already in it. We do have to put a few pieces of uh, instruments in it. Some of the instruments, already, instruments are there. We do have other instruments on hand already. But that's, of course, near the last stage. And uh, as soon as we get this thing flying, we're going to form a flying club. And uh, it'll be used for uh, training for the flying club owner members. Okay. And so that'll reduce aviation costs. We want to get these guys building airtime and experience and get them in the air. And so in a few years, we can ride behind them in some airliner. So obviously the, the point of the chapter build is to get many people involved and uh, get to know how to, to work on aircraft and get that experience. Uh, in this project, how many people do you think will actually have hands-on and experience well, We have building? about 10 young people that are involved most of the time. Okay. And that's our, uh, our core, those 10 people. However, we have three or four um, adults that come and mentor and uh, uh, Bill Perry spends a lot of time with us. Uh, uh, Glenn Vora spends a lot of time with us mentoring these guys. So that when they're, like the tail kit, for example, has two rudder vaders. It has two stabilizers, it has two sets of ribs. So you have simultaneous, so you can have simultaneous couple, builds going on? A couple teams building at the same time. So it really won't, once we get the system down, and uh, it shouldn't take so long, during the summer, 
Uh, everybody's on vacation and so forth. Now the school's back in session. We'll have more regular uh, attendance and we'll uh, move right along with this thing. It won't take very long to mount the motor. That's basically been done already. Instrumentation take a little time. The tail's gonna take the longest time. We've already polished, repolished the everything to stabilize it so it'll stop any corrosion, oxidation, and keep down fingerprints and so forth. But uh, we're gonna progress along in this tail kit uh, pretty quickly, we think. Uh, so hopefully in about a year, we'll be flying. Nice, nice. So you're in Palm Beach Gardens. How many people are actually in your, your chapter here in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida? Well, we have typically about 30 active members. Uh, at this particular meeting, regular meeting this morning, we had about 38 attendees. Uh, we had a guest speaker, Mark Kettering. Uh, so that did boost the attendance a little bit. But even in the summer in the heat, we're still running 25, 20 people here just about every meeting. And with the 10, that doesn't account the 10 youth that are involved as well. So uh, we're ac accepting a few more youth, but we, we don't have room for many more at this moment. But that's about our chapter uh, roster. Nice. Okay. So if you're in Palm Beach Gardens area or Palm Beach County, want to get involved in aviation, exp especially experimental aviation, uh, you can contact Rick here and, uh, and see about joining the chapter. What's the way they can contact you or the chapter itself? Um, we have a chapter website, uh, chapter 203. However, you can uh, email me directly at metro9100 at aol.com. Anyway, uh, our engine, this is you see on the 701 in the back, there we have actually now four different basic engines, a three cylinder that's a one liter, 75 horsepower, uh, four cylinder, 1.3, 100 horse, uh, Four cylinder 1.5, 117, and a uh, two liter turbo that's 260 horsepower. The, the, the one liter and the two liter turbo are still in development. They're, you know, in our shop, we're working on them. They haven't flown. The other engines have flown. In fact, um, yesterday, one of our customers, um, Dick Gosen, uh, in a RV12, did his first flight with our engine. He'd been flying with another engine before and say that's what we have. No, we put it on the dyno, we run it, we tune it, we make sure that it operates throughout the range, and we verify. So that was our visit to EAA Chapter 203 in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, that one presentation from Mark at Aero Momentum uh, went a little long, which is fine. It was really great information. I decided just to do that in a separate episode. So anybody that's interested in that engine specifically can uh, watch that video. And I'll post that within a couple days of this one. Um, after here, I'll be. Uh, Heading out to next week to Mexico, Missouri. Zenith Aircraft is going to have their annual open hangar days. So I'll be attending that and taking some good video to share with you all in about a week or so. Uh, in the meantime, all those products you guys have going on out there, just build it. Until next time.